this is your spirit, right? This, see, that's a diamond. And uh, that's your spirit. And this is an ugly experience, another ugly experience, another one, it just builds up. By the time it's way up here, you don't know who you are. So we move to our head, and that's where the mental illness comes from, sickness, emotional sickness. Lots of shame covering that, lots of pain, lots of suffering, a lot of fear. So we've got to take those blankets out, one at a time. And when you take the last blanket off, this diamond comes up, the spirit of who we are comes up, and we can then now learn how to be how, who we are. And this was done on purpose, residential schools all schools, all, all institutions, because they wouldn't be able to control us if we were strong like that again. It was done on purpose. Paul and I were born in the same year, in the same month, in different circumstances. So I grew up with a life of privilege. I grew up in poor credit. As I grew up, uh, as I was in school, I had no insight into the history of how pork credit evolved. Um, there was no discussion about um, the indigenous population that was there that was pushed out and then given a one mile uh, perimeter up the river and then taken away again. Um, we weren't taught this and that's part of my shame is being part, part of a, a situation where that kind of information is not being brought forward so we can all move forward with a true with truth and understanding, because once truth is out there, then, we, then we'll be able to understand, reconcile, and move forward. Reconciliation is the work that I need to do for myself. Why do I hate? Why do I? Why am I prejudiced? Why, why am I so dysfunctional? Why am I so high above others? Why do I put people down? To reconcile is to see these things within myself and to, and to change that and to allow my spirit to be free because the spirit of who I am or anybody else is not prejudice. Prejudice is in the head. We're taught that. The old teachings are not there anymore to, uh, to let us know how extraordinary we are as a people. Not just some people not just uh, the rich people, but all people. We're all, we're all ex extraordinary people. And we gotta know this from the inside out. We can't know this in the head, it's no good in the head. We gotta know that from our spirit. And it's from that spirit of who I am that I can paint, I can write, I can do all the things that I thought were, thought were impossible growing up. Right? It's about being a human being. Action is a whole different thing. And as de Jungé indicated, we're all individuals, we're all unique, and we all have the ability to act somehow, somehow. Um, we're not government, we're not, but as an artist, I felt compelled to move forward and to say something, because that is the, the ability that I have to speak truth coming forward, we all have a certain power that we can bring forward and, and resolve injustice. And, and it's, it's, we're, I don't think we're dependent on government to do that. We have to do it individually and, and to move that forward collectively. And we all have something in us that can move forward to speak that truth, to make sure that uh, what has happened is, uh, I don't think you reconciled, thank you. Yeah.